So in this video, we're going to demonstrate a sustained recruitment breath using the bag. And if you take a look at our lungs, you can see that there's a lot of atelectasis in the lungs. The darker areas are atelectatic and the lighter color is aerated. So what we're going to do is we're going to show you how to do a sustained recruitment breath. But the thing I want to point out is we're on five of peep right now. If I recruit and I go back to five of peep, my recruitment breath didn't really do anything because I'm going to need more peep than I have now to keep my lung open. So we'll, we'll demonstrate that. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to turn my peep up to eight. I'm going to switch over to my bag, turn my eight PL valve to slightly above 30 to around the 40 range. 30 to 40 is where you're targeting with your sustained recruitment breath. We'll switch over and keep an eye on my lungs as I do this. So I'm holding it and I want to hold this pressure for seven to eight seconds minimum. If you can get by with 15 to 30, the longer you do it, the more time for those atelectatic areas to open up. And then switch back to mechanical ventilation. Give them a few breaths at the new peep level. And this is going to do several things. The recruitment breath is going to open up the atelectatic areas. It's going to allow for nitrogen to get back in there. It stimulates type 2 pneumocytes to release surfactant. On a stagnant tidal volume, your type 2 pneumocytes basically go to sleep and they stop producing surfactant, which is going to compound on the atelectasis and make the lungs less compliant. And if you look, I went to A to P, but after the recruitment breath, my lungs look a lot better. And again, I may even need more PEEP to keep my lungs fully recruited. 